A sun hammer. Look at that thing. Oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> you doity rat. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and uh, in this episode, we're going to uh, continue work on the basement. Um, as I mentioned in the previous episode, the plan will be to uh, spend the first half of the episode uh, working on uh, building stuff, the basement in particular, and then the second half, we'll go out and do some adventuring. Um, so, all right, if you did not catch the last episode, uh, we spent uh, the majority of that time uh, building out the, the rooms of the basement. So this is our, you know, kind of our entry common area if you will and then on the left hand side um and all the way around i have five rooms which will become uh, the chambers for each one of our uh crafts people i'm not planning on moving the crafts people's persons is <laughs> uh crafting stations down here they're going to pretty much stay as they are um uh, the this is just well, it's all just for funsies anyways, right? I mean, <laughs> the whole damn game's about having fun. But, I mean, it's it's just, you know, kind of role-playing kind of thing, I guess, if you will. Um, so they have their own living quarters. Um, that's the plan. All right, so let's see here. I think I'd like to start off with common things that they're all going to need. Uh, so beds and bathrooms, for example. And um, how about if we – well, and and – yeah, we're going to need some rugs, too. You know what, though? I'll, I'll worry about the rugs after I kind of figure out where we're going to place the beds. So let's do the beds first. And we might do, you know, a, a couple of different types of beds, depending upon who it is we're talking about. So um, I th I see Balthazar as, you know, kind of more of a refined, um, I don't know if I want to say high society, but, you know, upper class, you know, type of dude. Uh, so we're going to make him a palm wood bed. Definitely think we should make the stone bed for our carpenter because he's essentially a dwarf, even though the game doesn't really call him that. And, okay, we're going to need to get indigo uh, and straw for that. Uh, really? I thought I had a bunch of straw. Must have used it for something. If I had straw, I think it would have been in here. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we, we do indeed only have one piece of straw. Okay, that's going to... Um, okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. We're going to plant some wheat, first of all. Um, so we can kind of make our own straw. But we're, we're probably going to have to go out and about and get some too, which we'll do in the second part of the episode. So now the next question is, do I have any wheat seed? If I did, it should be in here. Um, hmm. That's coal powder. I'm just going to actually leave that in there for now. Well, no, actually I'm not because it doesn't pull from there. Am I, like, completely out of wheat, too? Uh, oh, we can't get into there. I must have inadvertently... Oh, we got, we got one thing of wheat. Okay, I must have inadvertently put, you know, put most of it, or turned most of it into flour. Uh, I don't usually do that. I usually try and save some, you know, for replanting, but... Apparently, in this particular case... I didn't do the best job of that. All right. Well, let's uh, at least get this one planted. I don't remember exactly everything that it's going to need. So let's check a look. He looks here. Um, I'm assuming. Oh, what do I have in there? Oh, right. That grappling plant stuff that we found at Emily's old haunt where we found that farm uh, a couple episodes ago. All right. Let's see. We're looking for wheat. Wheat, 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 wheat. Here we go. All right, we need uh, fossilized bone dust. 
So we'll plant this, but but we'll also go out and um, you know see if we can just find some too. Okay, so let's go back to here and back up to wheat. Select that, and then one of those, one of those, and one of those. Okay. Might as well pull all of... I'm not even sure what this stuff's used for at this point. I think it has might have something to do with magic. Uh, we got chamomile here. I grew... Uh, I'm, you know, I want to grow this primarily because it's used for the super large, extra large um, health potions. And I, I also ran out of this, so I had to go to the um, the Revelwood to, to get some more. Anyway, what I was about to say is that um, if you guys haven't already um, seen the roadmap, that is has now been published, and it's available. You can look at it on Steam. And that's uh, pretty cool. You know, some of the things that are coming up in the game, um, including things like water, uh, actual water, I know a lot of people have been using the blue luminescent blocks to kind of simulate the look of water, uh, but they're apparently planning on adding actual water. I, I, I'm assuming that means flowing water, you know, water blocks that can flow, that kind of thing. Uh, let's see what else. We're going to have new dungeons. We're going to have husbandry so we can raise our own animals. There's going to be enemy patrols. However, that's going to work. Sounds interesting. Uh, new building blocks, um, the ability for multiplayer to have their own set of craftspeople, which is, is I mean, I, I can't believe they didn't do that to begin with. <laughs> I mean, that seems like a no-brainer to me, but whatever. Uh, but they're gonna, they are going to um, add that. So, wait, what? Yeah. And let's see, what else can I remember about what they're going to do? Uh, I... I just kind of perused it. I didn't look at it like and study it in great detail, but uh, overall, you know, all the new changes and stuff that they're planning uh, looks pretty cool. Uh, oh, uh, there's going to be a mountain biome. Uh, so they'll add, they're going to add, well, we kind of expected that anyways, because why else would we have only 25% of the map available at this moment, you know? Um, so yeah, it's supposed to be a mountain biome. And um, I'm trying to remember if anything was said about uh, like, you know, new armor sets and stuff, but, but I, I would imagine that there's got to be because you know, right now I'm in you know, the top tier armor, but only with 25% of the game completed, so yeah, that, that's probably a no-brainer and, and weapons too. I didn't see if they're going to make it so, to where we could break down armor uh, I wish we could. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me at all that we can break down weapons for runes, but we can't break down armor. And it's not even that, you know, there's a shortage of runes. It's just the the inconsistency of it, <laughs> uh, in my opinion. So anyway, uh, lots of cool changes coming up. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it all pans out. Uh, so far, this developer has done a very good job with this game, uh, you know, by way of comparison with a lot of other early access situations um, not to mention any names <laughs> um but uh yeah so i have high hopes that this game is gonna continue to to grow and expand and and that's what expand means grow and expand they mean the same thing i digress and uh, yeah so we'll continue having having awesome an awesome time here okay anyway let's um go ahead and put i don't think we need to put anything in there this is my reagents uh, chest here. What am I doing? I'm doing a shift. I'm, I've been playing a lot of uh, Pacific Drive and just thoroughly enjoying that game. But, you know, my I'm kind of in Pacific Drive mode in terms of my muscle memory here. Okay, so yeah, we'll, uh, we definitely want to make the stone bed for the carpenter who is a dwarf as far as I'm concerned. Um, this kind of looks like an Emily bed, I would say. Uh, or, well, hunter bed for sure. I guess either one of these could work for that. Um, yeah, I would say this one for the hunter for sure. So we're going to need some dried fur for that. Do I have any in here? Oh, yeah. Look at that. We got lots of dried fur. 
Okay. So we'll put the fur in here. Go back to beds and... Okay, so that's going to be uh, Othalon's bed or Hunter. Um, we could... You know what? Don't I already have... Yeah, I already have one of these beds. Um, Emily, you know, she's a farmer, right? So she's kind of an earthy type of person, I would think. And so either one of these beds would probably be fine for her. Oh, and I already got one too. Okay. Um, so that gives us four beds that we can use. Uh, the blacksmith. Hmm. Yeah, maybe what we could do is give this bed to the blacksmith. And... Um, one of these to, uh, to Othalon and one to Emily. This will be Balth Balthasar's. I'm not worried about the comfort level. I mean, we've got so much comfort level now. It's crazy. In fact, we might even be capped out on it. And then we'll just have to wait till we can get some straw to make this stone bed. All right. So let's go downstairs. And I don't, hmm, I don't think it really matters who, who's in what room. I mean, it actually doesn't matter at all. The only thing that could affect that is if I decide to take some of their uh, crafting items and put them in their room for the purposes of decoration and not for actual using. Um, I, but, you know, I would say the person who would have the least amount of that sort of thing would probably be the blacksmith because almost all of his stuff is outdoor things. So why don't we put the blacksmith in the smallest room? which is this room here. All right, so what I'm thinking is we already have this kind of little uh, division here, or partition. So that's going to be his bathroom. And then we will put... Uh, let's put his bed up against the wall. And I, I'm not even necessarily going to be leaving these uh, braziers in here uh, but I'm going to keep them there for now and let's see this was going to be the blacksmith's bed I believe so we'll turn that around and we'll, we'll get a we'll put a nice rug underneath here too um just trying to think I wonder if it would look better if we put his bed yeah let's put his bed all the way up against the wall there and we'll put a rug out in front of it very good. Okay. So that's the blacksmith. And then after this, I don't think it really matters who's in what room. I'm going to I'm gonna do a, a partition, uh, you know, for the bathroom for all of them as well. In fact, maybe we should do that now. That way we know kind of what we're working with. Oh, another thing. I think. So I don't know if this was actually on their roadmap or if this was... A wish list item that I watched on see I've watched a couple different review videos you know that are, we're talking about the the roadmap as well as looking at it just briefly myself and somebody was saying that we should we should have a magic chest for building blocks and I absolutely agree with that so that way you don't have to have all this stuff in your inventory when you're building and but I like I said I don't remember for sure if that was actually on the roadmap or not nevertheless um we're gonna keep working with palm wood because that's just kind of our theme down there. And um, let's make... Yeah, we're, we're still in pretty good shape. Let's make a few more of these. So we have them. So for here... Uh, oh, I need to get my hammer. Got to get the hammer to do the building. Where did I put the hammer? Is it in here? It is indeed. Okay. All right. So, um, I think what I want to do here is make this a door. It's an awfully big doorway, isn't it? 
Um, but yeah, it is what it is, I guess. I mean, I know I could shape it to, to be smaller, but... Okay. And we're definitely going to have to get some lighting going, too. And then I think it makes sense to, you know, to put this bathroom here. Let me, let me actually look at something else. This is... Yeah, this is the width of... Uh, of one block, and I think that's plenty for each one of the bathrooms. So we'll do the same thing here. Let's go with um, this, and I'm just going to put that there temporarily. And yeah, we'll just... I think I want that like that, right? That's coming all the way out to the edge. Right, okay. Let's get that out of there, and then we'll go back to the two meters. And pop one in there, and one in there. Okay. That takes care of that bathroom. And then for the bed, um, let's move this. You know what else would be nice is if we could right click and have a deploy option. That's starting to be kind of a common theme in a lot of uh, these types of games these days. All right, let's just call this the, we'll call this the hunter's room. We'll try and put the rooms sort of kind of close to where they are. Not that that matters a whole lot either, but yeah. All right. And then we'll put her bed right in the center, except that I think I'm going to take snapping off for this one because it's not quite lining up the way that I want it to. If we turn it on... Right about here is pretty good. Okay. So that's the hunter's room. Uh, the next closest person, well, like I said, that's actually not going to play out too well, so screw that idea. <laughs> this will be, we'll make this Balthazar's room. Um, okay, so. Uh, let's put that there, that there. And then, um, alt here, doorway. And why don't we put his bed flip it around. Let's turn snapping on for a minute and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm, do we want his bed there? Maybe what we do is we put it up against the stone wall like like Emily's or not Emily's um Athlon's bed is. I'm just, you know, as always, I'm just making this up as I go, so I'm not necessarily intending for all of them to have the same exact arrangement. But it just feels like that's the best place to put the bed for for a wizard. Why? I don't know. I can't explain it. It's just a feeling. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait a minute. You know what? This should be. The, it, this could be the carpenter's room. Yeah. Because I forgot the carpenter's in this corner. We'll make this Athelon's room. right before it starts to clip there. And then this could be Balthazar's room here. You know what we could do? Just for funsies? We could actually put a secret wall in and have a secret chamber for Balthazar. Because, you know, wizard, right? Maybe we'll do that. 
just for fun. Just for funsies. Uh, let's put this right by the door for now. And I think if we're going to do that, I'd like the secret door to be right in the center. So let's put his bed up against this wall. And we can... Yeah, see that one? That one snaps nicely because of the little curvature of the headboard there. I like it. Okay, so that's Balthazar's room. So let's see, we got blacksmith, we got carpenter, we got hunter. And so this will be Emily's room. Um, yeah, let's, um, let's do a bathroom for Balthazar. Because his, his secret chamber is going to be like a, a secret laboratory. Okay, so there's his bathroom. Let's put Emily's bathroom over here. I think this one needs to be pushed back a little bit. Excellent. Okay, and then Emily's bed. Let's put her bed up against this wall. And we'll take that off. Cool. All right, each one of the bathrooms is going to need a door. What do I currently have for doors that are already made? I have nothing. Nothing at all in here. Nothing in there either. Okay, so for these doors, these are going to be internal or interior, rather, doors. And a carved wooden door. Let's let's look at that. It might that might be a little bit uh too rustic but let's see no that works i like that okay let's make four more of those um also let's see here do we want to put i mean we do we want to put lighting and i'm thinking we do chandeliers just hanging, you know, from the ceiling. Well, you know what, though? It's probably too low now that I think about it to do that. Do we have one of those in our master bedroom? I mean, it, do it doesn't hang down that low. It, it, it probably does, though. You know, just, we just have a really high ceiling in here. Okay. Um. Then I don't think that's going to work. We could go with those lights or we could, could just do candles. I mean, they'll be a lot cheaper to make. And I think... That, you know, they have pretty good illumination. Um, but yeah, the chandelier situation is not going to work. Um, so we could also use like the genie lamp, you know, once we get some nightstands and things in that, like that in there. Um, these lights would look nicer. But, you know, maybe we'll save the fancier stuff for Balthazar's room since he's kind of our upper class person. Um, those Those would look nice. Well, uh, no, let's theme this. Okay, so so the blacksmith would probably like metal stuff, right? I think Emily and the hunter will probably like more, you know, earthy types of, of things. 
Um, there's even the firefly lamp, but I, I need to go out at nighttime and collect a bunch of fireflies, which I could do. Um, but let's just go with... Do I have any candles? Yeah, I've got one. I want to actually see what the light, you know, how much light this gives. So let's, mm, let's put this here, close this door. Let's turn snapping on. doesn't give a ton of light in here. I don't know, maybe maybe I will leave the braziers in here just by virtue of the fact that it provides some decent light, you know? Um Okay. This was the blacksmith's room anyways, wasn't it? Do I have a uh, an iron light? No, I don't. It looks like I'm using all of that stuff. Let's let's grab this. The sandstone brazier could be This thing is really big though. I don't know, maybe we would use those down in Balthazar's secret chamber or something like that. We do have light blocks as an option too, um, but yeah. See, I was gonna th maybe hang this in the common area, but there's there's no way that's gonna work. I had at one point I had considered making the basement deeper, but then I decided not to. Um, yeah, I decided just to leave it the way that it is for now. Okay, well, let's go back to here. Um, I'm, you know, the more I think about this, the more I think maybe I will leave the, the braziers, um, in place. Let's make one of those. Are these brighter than the candles? Yes, they are. Okay, so if we had if we had two of these per bathroom, one on each wall. Or we could even just put them put one in the center. I think that provides a decent amount of light for the bathroom. Yeah. I like that. Okay. <clears throat> um, maybe what we do is we put, eh, I don't know. Maybe uh, we might not use these at all. I, I think we'll use the, I, I know I said I do, do the metal for the blacksmith, but just because the fact that this gives quite a bit more light than the candle. I think we'll use those in all of the bathrooms. And then what we could do is we could put, you know, some furniture down with a nightstand and then put a genie lamp on the nightstand because the genie lamps give off pretty decent light too, as I recall. Okay, so let's see. We have four more bathrooms that we need to light. So let's go here, and I want to make four more of these. I know I could make these too, but these are a little more expensive. Um, and I don't, I don't know if they give off. See, it's it's kind of hard to tell in here because I have so much lighting just all around the room. One thing we could do is let's just temporarily pick that one up. And we'll do a comparison. All right, so let's make another one of these. Watch out for Splinter. All 
All right, so what does this look like? Hmm. Okay. And what does this look like? Yep, that still gives off more light. It really does. Okay, so that's the solution for all of the bathrooms. I think we figured that out. Now, we're also going to need four more of the interior doors as well. So let's go to here and to here. Uh, we're going to need some more nails. Not a problem. We can make all kinds of nails. We'll make that many for now. One more door from you. And, um... Did I already make the lights? No, I didn't. Illumination. And we need four more of these. Go get them. Go get them. All right. We'll put this light back up here. Yeah, those fancy schmancy lights are not as bright as the the iron wall torches. Let's put this down here and um, these down here. Did that go in there correctly? Yeah. Excellent. Got that done. Same thing in here. Um, well, it's not going to be perfectly centered unless I take snapping off, which is not that big a deal. I'm not inclined to do that right now. I think we'll just let it place where it wants to place. Whoops. Good. Good deal. Okay. Some of these bathrooms are pretty good size. Well, they're, they're kind of, they're long, but it's just the way the bedrooms went. We're going to, we're going to do like uh, heads all along the wall down in here. Maybe some pictures too. And we'll put a bench and some rugs and it's just a nice common re area where they can relax after a hard day's work. It'd be kind of cool if the NPCs actually moved around. Oh, we're supposed to get villager NPCs too in the, the on the roadmap, whatever the hell that actually means. <laughs> I mean, are they going to be like these guys where they just stand in one place or are they, will they actually walk around? Will they do something? Or are they just decoration? Yeah, it doesn't really, it's not really clear on that. Did I forget to pray, place a, a torch somewhere? We got one in there. One in there. That one's in there. Hmm. Okay. I guess I made an extra one. Well, why don't we just, at least for now, let's put it here. Because I probably won't put heads along this wall. I'm, my, the plan is to put like a night, you know, maybe like a, a bench that sort of represents a couch, a couple chairs on the side, a rug, you know, just a little cozy place. And then the heads will just go all, all along the wall there. Uh, all right, let's see here. I think we're going to, I think we're going to, um, uh, I think that's all we're going to do for today in terms of building. Um, but we do want to go get some straw. So let's see here. Uh, I'm going to put this back in there. That goes back down there. We'll put the nails in there. Uh, the wood blocks will go here and the hammer goes in there. 
Okay, we're pretty good on food. We're pretty good on potions. Uh, we got 300 arrows. Maybe... Let's make another 100. And we... We'll just turn them into poison arrows, because why the hell not? Okay, so... Let's look at our map here. And... If we're going to get wheat, we need to go to the highlands. And I don't remember exactly where we can find that in quantity. Far away Frey Tavern. We have a flame shrine there that uh, and an area to unlock. That's the Northlands. All right, well, let's just go to this spire here. Nomad Highlands, fast travel. Okay. I'm just trying to look down below to see if I can spot like maybe a farm or something. There's supposed to be a chest. Is there a chest here? Okay, well, if there is, I just missed it. Uh, but there's also supposed to be one at the top of this tower here. And why don't we see if we can... Fly, uh, fly directly to it. Just for the hell of it. Uh, whatever's in that chest isn't going to be any good to us in terms of actually using it. I mean, it'll be good for, for runes, but... Uh, okay, what direction were we going? Oh! There's something on top of this guy. that gold chest world wolf's snarl bow level 18 nice okay but here again uh 27 power not even close to what we're sporting right now but runes i doubt we can make that from here well actually mm, there look at that <laughs> Look at us in our bad selves. Very nice. Uh, okay, Scorching Wand. Okay, this does 40 damage versus 47 damage. So we'll melt that down too. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, we need to find wheat. Where in the, One of you guys told me in the comments where to go a long time ago, but I haven't been really doing anything in the Highlands for a while, so I don't remember... Where that place would be. I, do I have any other... I don't think I have any more altars down in the highlands. There's a little section here we didn't do. There's a bunch of stuff down here. Uh, let's, let's actually go there for a second. <laughs> I remember seeing another one of those kind of underground... ...town places around here uh, uh, it, but I didn't actually do anything with it is there is there a farm over here let's take a look see uh that's not wheat over there is it oh he got me little bastard this kind of looks like wheat but no it's just wild grass Got some sugar cane though. Dude, do you realize how badly I can wreck you? He doesn't, apparently. <laughs> uh, he asked for it, man. Okay, we do have. Oh, I, I think this is. That's wheat, isn't it? It's just not grown? Yeah. This is wheat here. Okay.
So we came to the right place. Very nice. Okay. I guess since uh, we dropped those guys, we should harvest them. Waste not, want not, you know, all that. What the hell's up with all the spiders? I can't, um... It won't let me pick up the partially grown. Would have been nice, and then I could have got the, you know, gotten the seeds from them. But there's still a decent amount of wheat here that I can, you know, can harvest, so. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, we needed lavender, too, didn't we? Oh, this isn't lavender. That's sage. Um, yeah, we'll have to go to Revelwood to get that. Might as well pick it, though. Okay, yeah, so this is this is the place to come. It's probably not the only place, but it's a good place to come uh, to get wheat and straw. And we got a total of 36 out of the deal. And 18 grains. Nice. And it's right near that current flame altar that I have. Uh, what do you guys give? Yeah, let's, let's actually loot them, too, because I do need more. I needed more goo for something. And we need bug parts to make goo. Because, you know, bug goo. It makes sense. Makes perfect sense to me. So we accomplished that goal. We got our wheat. Let's look at the map again. Whoa. I thought I heard the pitter-patter of more spiders coming after me. Grab that. Bounty Barn. That's where we need to remember to go to. Okay, so we have a Flame Sanctum here we haven't done. A Flame Shrine there. I wanted to maybe do a Sun Temple, though. So let's let's actually hit that Sun Temple. Okay, we'll heal up here, and we need to buff up, too. Because now we're in the zone where we have to more careful about what the hell we're doing. Okay, let's turn this way. Um, this is the direction we want to go. Cave passage. Take some... whatever the hell that tea is. A meat wrap, a fruit salad, and grilled veggies. We will... Are we going to go... No, I don't think we're going down into the shroud for this. Uh, but we will take one of those and one of these. Let's do it. Never been here. <laughs> so this ought to be interesting. Excuse me. You know what? I don't need to pick desert flowers. I got lots of desert flowers. All right. Is there anything here? Well, there's a greenie. deal with this guy first. I guess they said in the roadmap that they're going to do some kind of minor improvements to the UI and stuff too. Not exactly sure what that means though, but 
Sounds like it's a good idea, I guess. I do hope that they fix the um, the meshing issue, though, that this game has. That's one of its more glaring issues. And uh, it's a pain in the ass because, well, I mean, it just shouldn't do that at all. But the problem with it is that the enemies can still damage you, but you can't damage them when they're stuck in the mesh. All right, what do we got going on down here? Silver chest there. Looks like that's it. Okay. Hawk helmet. Level 23. Ranged a critical strike chance. 15%. And backstabbing damage. Um, how does that line up with what we currently have? So 31, 31. Okay, so it's got the same resistances. This is 13% critical strike and 15% range critical. Yeah, no, this is more like a, um, I think a rogue helmet. So we'll stick with what we have. Anybody here? Take the lock picks and the twigs. We're going to have baddies down here. Yep. Oh, wow, we got leather. That's pretty good. Linen. I'm not going to loot the rat. Okay, looks like that's probably about all that's going on with this place. Flour. That was a one hell of a big dish of flour. Powder balls. <laughs> All right, let's go do the Sun Temple. This is my first time in this particular Sun Temple. And, uh, whoa, that was weird. The camera did that all of its own accord. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be probably a fell sickle scythe boss at the end of it, but I don't know. We'll see. The layout of it looks pretty much the same as the other, the first one that we did. It appears to be anyways. Looks very familiar. And it also looks like we're going to be in some shroud, right? Yeah, okay. So that being the case, let's take one of these. Okay, let's do this. I hear, uh, I hear bad guys. Are any of these lootable? Don't appear to be. Alright, that bug kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, I don't see a, a nest for it. And it doesn't look like there's anything lootable around here. Why don't we pop this too, just so we have decent lighting here. Oh shit. I 
trying to kill that son of a bitch. So I can deal with this guy. Alright, come at me, bro. Something to loot here. Nice. I'll take all that. Oh. There was another dude in there. Wonder if he's stuck or something. <laughs> I missed. Damn it, Jim. Oh, he's an archer. Suck it, dude. Alright. Oh, button. This is a button room. Okay. We'll probably got to have another button on this other side. Um, there is a spawner. Okay, let's also get rid of this thing. And we'll wait for that to dissipate. Not worried about the little ones so much. We can just open that one up. Huh? Looked like that guy was wearing the same helm that I'm wearing. Alright, that takes care of those buttons. What does this do? That does not do anything. He won't, uh, there we go. I don't think we're supposed to go in there. Hmm, okay. Is there a door on this side as well? No. Okay, let's go this way. That's where we need to go in. We got something in here. Silver chest. A sun hammer. Look at that thing. Oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> you doity rat. Get rid of this thing right now. Okay, sun hammer. A uh, very nice two-handed weapon. You know what else would be cool is if, if we could have like pedestals that we could put the really nice looking weapons and armor on display. Uh, but obviously we're not doing two-handed, so that was, that was a nice weapon though. No doubt about it. Do 
did we... Oh, we did not come through here. Oh, look at that. Ethereal Plane. Level 25, so that's a max level magic shield. Shroud resistance is nice. Okay. Whoa. Something was sizzling. Here, we need to pop another one of these. Like one of those red bugs or something. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, is that it? No, we still need to go through here. Get wrecked. Are you stuck in the wall or just on the other side of the wall? Let's go this way. Nothing over here. Might as well break this though. Oh. Nothing over there. side room with a sarcophagus and that's an experience scroll I think we only have um yeah we only have one point there nothing there we got a big bug's nest this guy up. There we go. That way we don't have to deal with those red guys. Those red bugs that explode. Man, lots of side rooms. Alright, what does this one have? Lockpick. Nothing. Alright, what about this one? Oh, shit. Close that door. <laughs> I think that's the main room, so we'll go in there last. That's not lootable. Normal chest. Okay. Let's go, let's go deal with these bad guys. She's dead. Wow. This thing keeps going. Is there something up there? I don't think so. Just looking to see if that was maybe hiding something.
Okay, we have a room with two buttons that need to be opened. Yeah, man, this place is, uh... Is more extensive than I was expecting it to be. So let's go up here. Got an electrical trap. I wish we had a bigger version of the, um, you know, the glow potion that would last longer. That's what I wish. There's the button. Takes care of that. Just looking to see if there was something there. Wait a minute. Oh, it opens both of them. That's interesting. Oh, is this just like a shortcut back out? Must be. Is this the this must be the final chest. Spellbinder chest. Very nice. But probably not something we want. Because that's a caster, obviously. All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap up um, our adventures for today. So, let's go back through here. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll just keep kind of doing this same format. Um, in the next episode, we'll work a little bit more on our basement and then... I guess we've already been in here. Yeah, we'll work a little bit more on the basement and then continue, you know, wrapping up the areas of the map that we have not yet been to and uh, go from there. If you guys haven't already... Oh, am I out of shroud here? I am. Good. I can just teleport from here. Uh, if you guys haven't already uh, noticed, I, am, uh, I also do have a multiplayer series going on with Enshrouded. Uh, as of right now, um, I play on Friday nights and on Sunday afternoons with the, with the team. And we do, uh, we do live stream that on discord. I don't drive live stream on the, my channel. I'm not currently doing that for various reasons. I will get back into it in the future, but, uh, but if you want to come and hang out on the discord and watch the live stream while we're doing it or catch the, you know, episode uh, later on, then, uh, yeah, be, be glad to see you can find the discord link in the about section of the YouTube channel. With that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.